Hello everyone, welcome back to Zelda Parallel Worlds. Last time we did some exploring and found quite a few goodies, such as the red boomerang, uh, a bunch of pieces of hearts, and well that was pretty much it. We also found a, another magic powder, powder uh, bag, but we did not collect it for special reasons. And if you're wondering why I'm leaving Ruto uh, the Ice Fortress right now, it's because I need to verify something at the request of a uh, well, request, quote-unquote, of one of my, uh, commenters. Oh, and we can go up here from here. I was wondering why we... Hold on a moment. Alright. Alva Numble, you told me this was suspicious, but... There's no space for this grave to be pushed to the back because of the tiles in the... right there. And we can't pull it forward. So, this... Little, uh, grave right here, even though it looks suspicious, there's really nothing to it. It's just poor design, really. Let's check up here, though. Hmm, it's in here. Oh well. Well, I was wondering how we could, uh, if we could actually get to this giant guy who keeps throwing the bombs every time we attack him, but we can. It's just there's nothing here. Hmm. Oh well. All right, finally starting Rudo's Fortress. Oh goodness. As I said before in the last video, this place has very slippery physics going on. Which means we'll need uh, this to protect ourselves. Oh, there's also some uh, bouncy things, quote unquote. And please don't tell me I have to move this. Great. What the? Well, that's strange. Oh. Wait, what? So this... So this here is like... This is this floor, but... This is not. Well, that's strange. Well, actually... This does make our job easier. For bringing this... Over here. Except there's a hole right there. And that monster just fell into the hole by itself. Great! Oh goodness. This floor is slippery. Which makes pushing things slippery. Um, do we go by here? Nope. Nope. Push these. No, I don't know why I'm pulling this thing around anyway. It probably has no use. And I don't think I can. Well, I could probably use it with invincibility, but. Lag. My goodness. Ice physic puzzles. With spikes everywhere. Sign me up. And then throw the contract out. Because I don't want any of this. Should be doing a Sheik's. Uh... Oh, goodness gracious. Yep, I'm gonna have to use put something there. If only at the cane of some area. That would be making things much easier. Yeah, we're not, I'm not going to waste time at forcing everyone to watch this. Well, let's see what's on the other side of that. Hmm. Please push me. Uh, I don't think it works here, actually, to be honest. If it does, it probably takes a bit more specific timing. Okay, so maybe we can push this? Nope. So what exactly is the puzzle here? And things keep moving. Ok, 
keeping my bombs. Okay, so I guess I seriously have to move that statue all the way over to that switch. This is going to take a while, so I'm probably going to accelerate the video for you guys. Okay, finally, and we're safe stating this because uh, that it was way ridiculous. It took way much more time than expected. And we're because we're going to be going to this door first because it's easier to go to. And of course, it only gives us the big chest key. And let me guess. We have to do that puzzle all over again just to put that switch back to its place. As expected from this game, quote unquote. Okay. Save scene again. Now we just have to figure out a way to go past this. That's obviously not gonna work. Which means bombs. We're gonna use them, if we can make it work. Aha. Okay, solved that part of the puzzle. Now what? Hmm. I guess it's a good thing we have uh, the fire rod from Saria's dungeon now. Because, uh, this enemy right here can only be de defeated with the fire rod, I believe. Maybe there's an alternate way, but... That's not breakable. Can we push that to do nothing? Oh well. Actually, might as well test it right now. As you can see, kills them instantly. That's exactly why the fire rod exists. And more... Well, we're gonna do the pushing later. Let's do... Go here first. There's a key we can get. And an anti... Oh, mysterious tablet. I get these are supposed to be like super secret, but they, they, they don't really evoke that kind of feeling. Okay, excuse me, but I'm gonna refill my health because uh, I remember that I don't have uh, any red or fairy potions. Fairy potions, whatever that all ever happened. Once again, the cane of Birna proving to be the most broken item. Not for good reasons, of course. Although, to be fair, we did earn that cane. And this brings us back a bit. To an alternate passage. Uh, there's a switch there and we have to move this thing around, okay. Let's see what's outside though. Mm, yeah, we're on the second floor as expected. Maybe there's an alternate passage we have to go through? That'd be ni nice actually. Oh, piece of heart. One more and we'll have 17 hearts. Anything else? Except bees. Move away bee. Ow. Aha! Alright, that seems to be everything. Let's see what's inside here. Probably a one-way passage, and it means we'll have to do that stupid puzzle again, but whatever. Oh no, we're still in Rudo's Fortress. Um, second floor. Canabirna. Can't go through here. 
But there is a chest here. With the big door key inside. Or a big key, basically. And I guess we'll jump off here. Or maybe we can use the hookshot. Nope, there's nothing. We better put the can of beer now on. Keep myself nice and invincible. Too bad I keep... Well, actually, no, I'm supposed to get it from over there. First, let's get the key. Let's open that door right there. Which I don't know where it leads because we don't have a map in this game. Better leave that uh, thing right there. Nothing here. And we can go here again, too. Which means we can go through the locked door up there. I use the can of beer not to be invincible through those fire bars. <coughs> Excuse me. Or fire snakes, rather. Looks like we're hookshotting over the other side. It's in here, though. An invisible door? Oh, it's bombable. Or not. I guess uh, bombable walls and locked doors like that uh, just share the same sound bite. Maybe destroy all the enemies? Aha. The dashing is really weird in these ice physics. I kind of like this dungeon, except for the tedious uh, puzzle at the beginning, because uh, there's lots of uh, different passages we're using right now. Of course, this is just my first impression so far playing it, so it might change later. Now we can do this. What's under here? Okay, for once for a statue, we cannot move. We're gonna have to light. Aha! Ah, uh, it locked again. Well, but we'll, we can get the uh, big treasure here. Aha! The blue mail. This reduces the damage that you take from enemies. And now we have a nice new palette going on, too. Probably to look like the Zora tunic. Oh well. But now I'm totally lost. And this is probably a one way. Maybe not. Can't move this one. Strange. Can't move this. Okay, so it's one way from the other side. What the hell? Okay, this is this is way more puzzle type dungeon and also questionable physics too. I need to find out where I am first. I can't push this back. Can't push this, can't push this. But I can't do this. Why did they let me push those two in the first place anyway? Okay. 
Okay, we're back here. So if I want to go back there, I should use a hole. Okay. There is, well, two statues, but we can move them. And there's a switch there. Okay, let's move a, a statue into that switch and see what happens. Actually, we can easily tell which statue is movable. The ones that we can't move, they've got like a gray uh, sprite block behind them. No, I can't, I can't imagine how these, this game would be right now. Without the cane of Birna. Someone mentioned that it, this was, was supposed to be late game level uh, item. It's certainly not. Uh, it appears that the cane of Birna was supposed to be an item that we're supposed to get relatively early. Except if if we didn't get it back uh, when we were still in the light world, quote unquote, then we would not have gone that. Like we wouldn't be able to get it back right now because we need the cane of S Samaria to go back through the parallel tower to get the item needed to go back to the. Light world, normal world, words. Okay, let's go in here. Hmm. These are dead. I refills my magic, which is important in this dungeon. That does nothing. Oops. Um. Oh, we can go by here. Maybe. Okay, I think I got it. Unfortunately, gotten it means having to jump here, which means taking damage. Then removing this. Well, it does give us a, give us a heart pack. Then doing this, 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 and this. Okay. And another spare key. I'm guessing one of these tongues can be pulled, by the way. Not this one. Or maybe we just have to kill the monster. Ow. Probably not the tongues from the ones in the bottom. Mm. Well, probably not right here then. Uh, how do we both go back though? Gonna be using this. What a nice shortcut. All right, back here. Let's die. Let's see what's behind this door. Well, seems to be a whole lot of nothing. Well, so it seems we wasted our time then. We do, well, we do have a spare key for our trouble, but... For the most part... It was completely useless. What I mean, what I mean is, it was completely useless to check that other room. Still using the can of beer now. Hmm. 
another spare key. So it opens that door? Really? Well, that's kind of pointless, because that's where I came from. This dungeon's weird. Uh, these blocks form a net. Hmm. Push that one. Push that one. They're all pushable. So it's just to open that door on the right, really? Man, these these fire puzzles for one for one they are way too difficult and two they lead to places I, I come from, so what's the point? Hmm. There's another passage on the left. Oh, ho! seems we have an invisible passage in our hands. Aha! Okay, that's what we had to do. This was basically one of those stupid invisible... Maybe invisible? Maybe not? I'm gonna guess it was invisible and I just had to walk it through it. Sorry. Bas so basically destroying all these enemies which opened that other door. That was a red herring, or was it a graphical glitch? I can't really tell right now. Whatever, let's proceed. Down here, where it's not slippery. That's great, I love it. Crap. There. Now we are going on the left passage. Yep, as expected, and it means we can drop down here, where we can get ourselves hit and only take two hearts of damage. No, one heart. Wow, that blue uh, tunic really works. Hmm, can't go up here. Hmm, this dungeon is quite large. Uh, I. I like some elements of it, but uh, there's some elements, some other elements I don't like about it. And right now we've got the, a boss, uh, boss attack going on for no reason other than to harass us. Okay, never mind. The boss is right there. Good thing we have the fire rod. Uh, can't appear in that right now. I'm guessing this bo mini boss is tougher than the actual boss of the dungeon, by the way. Uh, in the original Link to the Past, when you face this boss, it, it's very possible to face him without the fire rod, I think. Maybe. At the very least, it's possible to go into its dungeon without the fire rod. And doing so basically screws you over. Die already. Finally. Took a long time. And, uh, freaking. Okay. I see that, but it's not breaking, so... Another spare key. What the? I can't pause right now for some reason. 
strange. Uh, better safe state just in case. Strange, I can't pause right now. That means I can't change items. Hold on, let me go out. Okay, I can change items here. Okay, that was a weird glitch. For a moment there, I couldn't change my item. That's, that was weird. And I need to change items here to hook shot to the other side. I guess I could use bombs too, but hook shotting is way quicker. And of course, we need more keys. And there's a Wallmaster, if I recall. That's his proper name. You know, it's, it's kind of weird. The spikes are better in this case. Because they allow me uh, to walk uh, quickly. And I've just realized that I need those... Uh, ...things around uh, to teleport me. I mean, what hook to hook shot. So we're going to leave them alone for now. Ow. We're in low on health energy. I think I'm fine. The statue works as an alternate target, maybe? Yeah, it does. And there's another lamp thing I can to use there. And of course, another keyhole I can use. Well, I have to use over there. Not what I want to happen. Let's see what's behind this door then. Oh, we got the big door key. So let's see what's to worry about. What the? Uh, I'm guessing that's a glitch. this door. Eyes. That should be death lasers. Nope. Not letting that freaking wall master get me. Can I shoot an arrow on that one? No, it doesn't appear to work at all. There's a monster stuck behind those three. He killed it. And it unlocked something, maybe? This is confusing. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go back. Maybe something here. Maybe there's an item somewhere and I just haven't found it yet. Let me actually no no you know what let me guess just lighting up all those lamps will just uh, unlock that one door there so let's ignore it for now we'll see later if it unlocks a chest or someone in the comments can tell me what it really does because uh, from my experience all the freaking lamp lighting things leads to nothing nothing I've already seen anyway now by here Mothra again. Well, considering this is the level, uh, the dungeon, the first dungeon uh, boss in this hack, this is kind of disappointing for a boss fight. 
I'm guessing it has more health now. Maybe. Except now, not only do I have more health too, I'm invincible. I heard there was a glitch with the level 3 and 4 swords where if you attack this uh, boss with it, uh, it won't do deal any damage, but it doesn't even matter because I'm invincible. And I have the fire rod, which is this thing's weakness, which I guess I should showcase. As you can see, one hit. You know, it was probably already almost dead, but whatever. Well, that was Ruto's Fortress. That was a pretty long dungeon, 46 minutes. Which I guess means uh, this video will be Ruto's Fortress. It's a dungeon where it's ups and down. I, I don't like how long the puzzles take, but I do like uh, that it was a uh, actually a very confusing dungeon. There was some uh, glitches uh, here and there too. That was that wish I wish that would be fixed, but I haven't. Or maybe they are fixed in 2.0. And the ice physics, uh, they were too abused as well. But yeah, compared to uh, Sarius Garbage, this was way better. The item, even though it's just defense, it would also still be more useful. Clue number two, really? Clue number two, so this was supposed to be no dungeon number two. Are you serious? Except you basically need the fire rod to complete it. No. Good luck. Well, still didn't get the cave in the cane of Samaria, but we did get a good. Hmm. Can we go up there, though? I'm gonna assume no, we cannot go up there. Even if we can, it's probably just a piece of heart or something, which we don't really need, and there's a one that we can miss forever. But anyway, let's get out of here. Uh, what to do, what to do? Well, I guess I'm gonna stop the video. Uh, anyway, this was Ruto's Fortress from the Zelda Parallel Worlds. I sorta of, kinda of enjoyed this dungeon. It was, had its ups and downs and such. Uh, next time we'll actually search for next dungeon. Uh, if we can't find uh, Darunia's dungeon, I'm guessing. Uh, I guess we'll go over directly to Sheik's uh, or Impa's ways. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a very nice day.